So this video clip is about how do I answer a 16 mark question in Unit 1 Medicine Through Time and I've taken this selection from the June 2010 exam paper. So the question that you can see on the board, remember that you um, get a choice between 5 A and B and 6 A and B. Uh, you will only ever get the option to do 5 A and B, that is what's taught in your lessons. And we're going to be focusing on 5 B today. And you can see the mark scheme for this is 16 marks, but you actually get an extra 3 marks in Unit 1 exam for spelling and grammar, or otherwise known as SPAG. So the focus of this question is about evaluation of change and continuity. And you can tell that because it says how much continuity was there from the Roman period, that's quite important, to the end of the Middle Ages. So you've got to show how things changed and how things continued. And when I say things, I haven't quite yet specified what the question is about. So the focus of the question is about medical treatments and home remedies, and you have to talk about both of them. Because the question is asking you how much, that's how we know it's an evaluation, you need to make a judgment about how much things continued or how much things stayed the same. For this question as well, you also have the three bullet points that you can see at the bottom of the screen. It says, and please pay close attention to this, that you can use the following, you may use, so if you don't have to use this information, and any other information of your own. The exam boards give you these three bullet points to help prompt your thoughts about the question. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to use them. Okay, Most of this question should be based on your own knowledge and you do not get any credit for just repeating the information without elaborating on it. So now that we've annotated the question, which I'd recommend that you do in the exam so that you're well prepared for what you're about to do, is I would recommend you plan out your answer. I've already done the annotation of the question, so we're going to skip over that. And I've got the question at the top still. And this is what I'd recommend to do in your plan. Part of your time that you're giving in the exam is you should be able to use for planning. So you can see that the focus of the question of what you need to focus on a medical treatment is here and home remedies and you can see that because it's asking you about continuity it's implying that you need to talk about change so what you need to do now is find in your revision guide and most importantly in your notes where you have information about medical treatments and home remedies you now need to pause the video and you need to fill in this chart You also are able to use these three bullet points. So after you've looked in your books, in your classwork, and in your revision guides, where, else, where can you use this information? Now, one thing that changed that I know to be true, in Roman times, the father was responsible for most of the treatments within the family. That's a change, so I would use that information in this box. Because in the Middle Ages, women were and mothers were most responsible okay second bullet point the christian church taught that saints could heal sick people through miracles is that a change or is that a continuity from the roman to the middle ages the christian church was only beginning in the roman times so therefore um you could say that this is a change so this would also go in this box where I've drawn the arrow to. And in 1348, bloodletting was used as a treatment for the Black Death. That's continuity, because we know that in the Roman time period, doctors like Galen would have um, prescribed bloodletting as a treatment. And so this would go here. Okay, so you can see that the three bullet points could be used in the medical treatment section. You could also argue that the fact that the mother in the Middle Ages provided treatment in the home. 
That means, and you should have done this already, that you need to fill the rest of that information out with your own knowledge. And you should be trying to make two to three points for each to show enough depth of knowledge. Okay, that's why I've put the blue dots on the screen. So how do you write it then? You have 25 minutes in total to work with this question. So what I would recommend is that you spend a couple minutes at the beginning of the time that you have for this question planning out the answer like I've shown you. Obviously you would not have your book to use in the exam, but this is revision. One paragraph on each of these. What continued with medical treatment? What continued with home remedies between the Roman period and the end of the Middle Ages? What changed with medical treatment? and what changed with home remedies. And you can see that that mimics the chart that I suggested prepping for this question. And the most important part of this question is your conclusion. How much did medical treatments and home remedies continue between the Roman era and the end of the Middle Ages? So you're going to have to show an evaluation where you give reasons as to why you've picked your particular opinion. So if you wanted to say that medical treatment changed a lot, but home remedies continued, you'd have to explain why you think that. Um, equally, you could say medical treatment and home remedies both continued for the vast amount of people. Neither of those answers are correct. I'm just giving you an example. And that is the end of this video.